So here is one example. It says that this turbine with six flat blades is installed centrally in a vertical baffle tank 2 meter in diameter. The turbine is 0 0.6 meter in diameter and its position 0 0.6 meter above the bottom of the tank. So do remember all the dimensions. This is the DT, this is DA, this is E. The turbine blades are 130 millimeter wide, meaning this is the W. The tank is filled with a depth of 2 meter with an aqueous solution of 50% sodium hydroxide at 65 degrees centigrade which has a viscosity of 12 centipoise and a density of 1500 kilogram per meter cube. The turbine impellers rotates at 90 rpm what power will be required. So from this given information you need to calculate what's the power required. So for this case we have n plus 90 rotation per minute so this will be 1.5 per second. We are given dA to be 0 0.67 meter. Rho is given as 1500 kilogram per meter cube and mu is given as 12 centipoise. So that's 12 times 10 to the power negative 3 kilogram per meter second. We have to calculate the power requirement. The power requirement can be calculated using either the power number or the KT values or the KL values, meaning the constant terms for the laminar flow or the turbulent flow. So the first step will be to determine what's the type of flow. That means find the Reynolds number. Now we know that Reynolds number is given as N dA square rho over mu. Now simply if we plug in all these values, n to be 1.5 second inverse, dA to be 0 0.67 meter squared, rho to be 1500 kilogram per meter cube, and mu to be 12 times 10 to the power negative 3 kilogram per meter second, you'll get the value of Reynolds number to be 84,169. Now we know that this value is greater than 10,000. So the flow is turbulent. So step two is to choose the appropriate equation and the constant. So we have for our case this P to be K turbulent, we'll have the equation n cube dA phi rho. Now for this case we have a disc turbine with six flat blades. So for turbine with six flat blades, the value of kT is 5.75. So this value will be used. Now from the table we get the value of kT to be 5.75. Now next step simply is to Calculate P. So we'll have P to be 5.75 N cube. So that's 1.5 0 0.67 meter 5 times rho 1500 kilogram per meter cube. So if you just simply do this math, we'll end up with something 39.30 kilogram meter per second square times meter times meter per second will give you 3930 watt which is 3.93 kilowatt so that's the power requirement for this process